You're probably working in a job right now, a job you don't like, working with people you don't want to, and earning way less than you'd like. But the truth is, you keep going in this job because it's your only source of income, isn't that right? You probably have no money saved up, your expenses are sky high, and your salary only covers the essentials. The things you really like you never manage to buy. You feel like you're in an endless abyss. You have high credit card debts, and perhaps you have a massive debt from financing college because someone once told you that once you graduated, you'd have a good job and you'd be a happy, fulfilled, successful person. You managed to complete your studies with a lot of effort, but you never worked in the field you truly wanted. Now your plan to get rich. All this seems like a distant dream. Now you see on the internet every day, dozens of young people showing off trips, luxury cars, and bank accounts filled with money. Some have become rich, others millionaires, and still others billionaires. You look at all this and wonder how did they manage that? What's the secret to being rich, especially those who got there so young? It leaves you perplexed, it makes you angry. Some say they were lucky, others say they were born into wealth. Some people go further in their reasoning and say, surely they were dishonest and got all that money by getting involved in the wrong things, and you feel unlucky for not having achieved any of that. Besides, those dreams you had of buying that mansion, your favorite car, living life traveling around the world, they will remain just dreams, nothing more, nothing less. You come to the harsh conclusion that life isn't fair to you and it feels like a game of chance where you only lose and never win. It's been like that from the beginning for you and you're on the losing side, but what if I told you that you're wrong? What if there was a way to get there, a real blueprint for you to start activating true wealth in your life? I'll reveal the science behind how money works. And what if you didn't have to give up the dream of owning that luxury car or traveling the world? You might think I'm joking or trying to deceive you, but rest assured, you'll understand that there's a side of the coin that hasn't been shown to you. But I warn you, the path is tough. This path is full of challenges, full of ups and downs. You'll need to discard some things they taught you in school and that society still tries to impose on you. I haven't told you yet and let me be clear. There are many of you who won't even make it to the end of this video, but for those who do, it shows that you're really interested in changing your life. And this path that I'm about to present to you now, at the end of it, there's wealth waiting for you. A wealth so great that you never thought you could achieve in life. In this road lies the freedom to never worry about money again. So, are you with me? Then let's not waste any more time. What do you really think about money? Is it something you work for, earn, or inherit? Is it the root of all evil? Are you desperate to have more of it? Have you been chasing it? Every thought you've formed in your head about money has been influenced by your education and environment. If you were born into a family that didn't have much money while growing up, then you're more inclined to believe that you'd never be able to earn a lot of money someday in life, and you were never instructed on how money really works. In this position again, the fact that your school didn't teach you anything about this subject because of that, you probably hold false beliefs about money that won't help you on this journey. Stay with me here because we'll have to change the way you've seen money throughout your life. Hollywood movies have always had the habit of portraying the rich as evil, deceitful or corrupt individuals. The question is, did you believe that farce? A recent report, released by a very famous newspaper in the United States, showed that the richest people in the world, those with a net worth of $30 million or more, 68% of them became wealthy on their own. And it seems that all other studies support this conclusion. Warren Buffett, the oldest and greatest investor in the world, became a billionaire. Howard Schultz is a multi-billionaire and is an American entrepreneur, mainly known for being the former CEO of Starbucks Corporation, one of the largest and most well-known coffee chains in the world. What nobody knows, he was born in poverty. Oprah Winfrey is a television host, actress, producer, philanthropist and American entrepreneur. Today she's a multi-billionaire, but what nobody knows, she was born in extreme poverty. Jeff Bezos, the second richest man in the world, wasn't born into a wealthy family. 
His family was middle class, and he didn't have a privileged childhood in terms of financial resources. Elon Musk, the current richest man in the world, what nobody knows, he faced financial difficulties in his youth. He was born into a middle class family, but throughout his life, he faced financial challenges. After moving to the United States to study at the University of Pennsylvania, Musk faced times when he struggled to support himself, even sleeping on friends' couches. Yet he overcame all challenges and became a multi-billionaire. What do these people know that you don't? In fact, it's your way of making money that's wrong. Here's the money-making formula you learned. Money is equivalent to the salary earned in a job. After a certain point, the prospect of earning a higher salary becomes the sole objective of your education. So, what's wrong with that, you ask? I'll presume that if you're watching this video, your goal is to accumulate a good amount of money in the shortest time possible. Therefore, this formula for getting money will never lead you to success. We all possess a valuable resource and you need to understand this. And once it's used up, there's no way to get it back. This resource is time. In a regular job, the amount of money you acquire is tied to the amount of time you invest in that job. If you earn $7.50 per hour and work 44 hours a week, it would take almost 63 years to reach a total of $1 million. However, that's without deducting taxes or expenses that will occur over 63 years. Not to mention that inflation would make your million dollars less valuable. In other words, becoming rich, earning a minimum wage is impossible, and becoming a millionaire is also beyond your reach. You can only truly become a millionaire in old age, living in a weakened state, and most of this precious resource known as time has slipped through your fingers. You exchanged all that time for money, and yet it wasn't such a high amount. So once again, you question yourself, how come there are millionaires and billionaires who built their fortunes on their own and became rich so young? What sets them apart? The truth is, they have a more effective formula than yours. They understand money in a way you haven't fully mastered yet. Pay close attention now. Stop chasing money in a capitalist society. The rules of the game are clear. You are rewarded according to the value people perceive you are generating, and those who recognize that value make up the market, the consumers of the economy. The market is you, your friends, your family, your neighbors. People may complain that football players earn too much, but it's because the market is willing to pay millions for them. Firstly, there needs to be a market for the football industry. People have to perceive the value of football before wanting to spend money on games and products. If the market has a high demand for football, what happens to the players at the peak of their game? They are generously rewarded for it. It's not about how hard you work. When will you realize that? Look at a janitor, for example. They sweat and tire every day, but they earn much less than an accountant sitting behind a desk. Then you ask, wouldn't that be unfair? Because the market values the janitor's work as less valuable than the accountant's. As unfair as it may seem, I'll explain, pay attention. The janitor can be replaced by anyone. It's not hard to learn to do their job. Therefore, the market isn't willing to pay more for the janitor's work than for the accountant's work. The individual who has spent years studying numbers, who has saved thousands of dollars in taxes for their clients. Don't get me wrong for using this example. All jobs are worthy. I just used this example for you to understand that you will be rewarded according to the value you generate. If you generate a lot of value, you'll earn a lot of money. If you generate little value, and many people can perform the same function as you, you'll hardly receive much for it. So how can we increase the value of what we do? What makes people like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos stand out so much to the point that their earned value is extremely high? The answer is simple. They solve problems that other people couldn't solve so efficiently. If you solve a problem, money will start following you. If it's a million dollar problem, the solution will earn you millions. If it's a billion dollar problem, the solution will make you earn billions. Companies like Amazon solve the inconvenience of people having to travel from their homes to a store. The delay in delivery offer more accessible prices, among other benefits. Not to mention all the other companies that Amazon hosts. 
and the problems these companies solve, Jeff Bezos helped solve a billion dollar problem and was widely rewarded for it. If you're after money, then you're going the wrong way. It might seem illogical, but if you want money, it's not money you should seek. You should seek problems and, more importantly, solutions to those problems. Once you find the solution, build a business around it. That's it. Just solve the problems and money will come. So you must be wondering, do I need to create the next Amazon to get rich or the next Facebook or the next Google? You're kidding me, right? I don't even know how to program and I don't have the money to start something of that magnitude, you might say. Hold on a second, okay? What did I just teach you? You're reverting to old thought patterns. Always start with a problem. Listen to the market around you. What are people saying they don't like? What are people asking for? What do people find frustrating? What do they consider incredibly inconvenient? This is a problem you can solve, and it's a problem worth solving. The final step of this business model for wealth is finding a scalable solution to the problem. Your solution needs to impact a large number of people. For instance, opening a restaurant isn't scalable. You're limited to the local area and the foot traffic of that area. Now, a franchise that's more scalable. If your solution is an app, once built, it can be scaled indefinitely online without worrying about production or shipping costs since everything is virtual. You'll never build a scalable business in your job. Pay attention, your solution takes time to generate that money. Let's say you're a yoga instructor charging $100 an hour. You might think you're an entrepreneur, but you're actually in a job disguised as a business. There's a limit to how many classes you can teach in a day, and thus your income is limited by time. However, if you create an online yoga course that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with classes you only need to create once, now you've created a scalable business. So don't get lost at this point. Automation also plays a significant role. Companies like ClickBank will keep your business running smoothly if implemented correctly. If there's something in your business that you can outsource or hire someone else to do and it makes financial sense, assigning all tasks to yourself is detrimental. Even if you believe you're the best, there's someone out there who can do a better job than you. Once you've found the solution, your role is to ensure it can be accessed by everyone in your market. It's not about your ego or what you love. The market doesn't care about your passions. Now that you have a profitable business running with the right systems and processes in place, it's time to move forward and reap the rewards of your work. There are two likely options at this point. Continue with your business or profit from the sale. This is acquisition, when someone buys the solution around which you've spent years building a business. This includes Instagram being acquired by Facebook for a billion, or PayPal being sold to eBay for a billion and a half dollars, of which 165 million went directly into Elon Musk's pocket, among numerous other acquisition events worldwide. This is where all the effort you invested in building your company pays off. If you decide to keep running your business, there are several reasons to do so. Maybe you love the company you've built and want to keep it. Perhaps you believe you can add more value to the company and sell it in the future for a higher price. Maybe the business operates passively in the background and you don't need to dedicate much to keep things running. Or maybe it's a combination of these factors. Either way, you've made it. You solved a problem that the market wanted to solve and were rewarded for it. And now what to do? Was it all a matter of luck? For most, it was never about money. Money is just a piece of paper or a number on a screen. Its value is based on our belief. From the start, it was never about money or buying the car of your dreams or traveling the world without worrying about your financial situation. In truth, it's the freedom you were seeking. Your destiny was never about money, but the lifestyle you always dreamed of. It was about the feeling and the ability to do whatever you want, whenever you want, without ever having to think, can I afford it? Have I used up my vacation days for the year? How will I pay rent this month? Will I be able to pay my debts this month? What dreams will I have to sacrifice because I can't afford to pursue them? The most important lesson of this video was never about the nature of money. It was about the valuable resource we all possess 
and can never get back. Time. Is it worth giving up a significant portion of your time for a job you probably don't like? Is your life destined to work, go home, watch TV, sleep, wake up the next day, and repeat the same cycle until retirement? How many more hours of your life are you letting slip away because of this pattern? Well, maybe you're okay with this reality. Perhaps you have no other choice but to follow this path for now. And if that's the case, there's nothing to worry about. The biggest contribution this video might have given you was a bit of entertainment and perhaps a change in perspective. But there are those who watch this video and understand the other side, those who wish to never have to worry about money again. And that's why I feel the need to remind you, stop chasing money, chase problems and find solutions to those problems. This is the formula by which all money is earned. If you want freedom without ever having to worry about money again, then let's solve the problems. That doesn't mean you'll be happy at the end of the road. It doesn't mean you'll feel fulfilled. Only you can answer that question. But since it's about your freedom that we're talking about, then perhaps it's worth pursuing. And there's your formula for wealth. Of course, I omitted many complexities in this video. The topics on money, business and entrepreneurship are too vast to cover in a single video like this. And it's essential to remember the original point I made at the beginning. Most people won't succeed for various reasons. But the most crucial part is to take risks. Take risks, but don't be irresponsible, right? Take calculated risks. Anything worthwhile always comes with risks, so avoiding risks means putting an end to your wealth before it even begins. And if you're doing something that's not directly related to a business but rather a job and want to earn more money, ask yourself, what problems am I solving? This may lead you to find ways to better monetize what you're doing, including your job and career. If you can solve more problems and find more solutions in your workplace, is there something you can do to earn a higher salary? I'll close with the same message I repeated countless times in this video. Stop chasing money and start chasing solutions to problems. Congratulations to you for reaching the end of the video and thank you very much for watching. I wish you all the success in the world and please type in the comments. I made it to the end. A big hug and until the next video.